Hello everyone! Today we are going to make an inventory. Basically this will be a mostly designed part of the game. Like an items, an amount of items, items that can be split, items that can be drag and drop, they can be even uh, detachable and attachable again with the amount items that cannot be stacked and every rule that there is in items so also we have this inventory that it scrolls down those we have also a uh, locked items locked inventory space we cannot put anything inside it and basically that's all this lesson gonna be few videos in total because inventory is very hard to make and we will do it step by step shall we start great so this is our game right we are left with the inventory and let's do the user interface first without coding and this is our inventory we have the title already we will have vertical scroll bar this scroll container that will be full rect merging something like that um, and we will have a grid container basically both of them are doing different stuff scroll is just a scrolling and grid will handle all of our inventory items great so far so good we also will create a pop-up menu we will use it a little bit later and um, now let's create a new item this is going to be our inventory item the item itself instead of control item that's the name let's make it rect size about 100 by 100 minimum size also matters in this case inside of here we will make a panel full rect and inside of the panel we will have the texture rect that will handle all of our images and also inside the panel we will have a label that will represent the amount let's say amount 100 I don't see much over here right now let's change the font here you go let's save it as inventory item and basically that's our panel let's play a little bit with the settings of our panel so <laughs> we have custom styles um, style box let's give it a color something like that This is gray color, pink. 
borders That's fine. And radius of the corners. Let's put a dummy item to it so we can see it clearly how it looks. I already prepared few items. Let's put this one uh, before we put it. Few stuff needs to be changed, expanded. Here, this is our dummy item. So far, so good. Let's go back to our inventory and let's basically put all of our items inside the inventory so to do that we will do it actually inside the code inside our code there is only one line from the previous video that basically registers this window this uh, inventory to the drag and drop window don't forget so inside of this code we will have a variable that will hold all of our uh, maximum inventory items that can the inventory hold let's say 16 now for x in an h oh i forgot something let's preload our inventory item that we just created and to do that we are going to use my empty item go instance we will create we will create an instance of it and inside this we will create new inventory item instance oh duplicate we will duplicate the instance and here we are going to do few commands so we are just created the item we want to register it inside our grid container so grid container add child new inventory item great save let's see how it looks it should register put all the items inside looks fine for now let's play a little bit with the editor let's see how much we can uh, place inside one row one two three four about four so inside the grid we will make four columns great let's make it five and let's make the inventory a little bit bigger almost great so far so good and after we are done with the inventory we can make a pop-up for handling the split items let's create it right now so inside let's select the user interface panel let's call it split box something like this center inside our split box we will have 
label that will represent the title Also, we will have the inventory item itself that we just created. It will just show you what item you want to split. I guess it's good feature. Let's also create another label. This will represent the name of the item. Um, fonts user input my item name like that also two buttons one of them will be close The other button will be confirm or something or split. Let's call it split. split. This one is close. Close and split. Great. Let's name it differently a little speed button and close button. Great. Let's make them on the same Y position. So rect position Y. Also, we will need the slider. Slider. And a line edit. This line edit will represent how many items you want to split. You will be able to put a number inside it or just scroll the slider. Let's see how it looks right now. Great, looks fine to me. And let's also add to the split box an automatic uh, drag and drop split box. Add new script, user interface, remove everything and func ready get parent add window tile. That's all. Let's see. Great. Works. The inventory and everything works. So this was the first lesson about the inventory items. We basically created a user interface and inventory item and we duplicated it a bunch of times just to get this result. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.